For the second case, we have a 35-year-old with bilateral hearing loss. Here we have an image from a CT of the temporal bones through the right temporal bone. This is a sagittal image also through that right temporal bone. Now an axial image from the contralateral side. And the corresponding sagittal image. So take a look at those images, come up with your differential diagnosis. All right, your first question on this case is what is the patient's most likely pastime? See golfer, band drummer, bird fancier. That's great, like the ABR really could have bird fancier as a choice, or triathlete. Question number two is what is the most likely diagnosis? So here we're dealing with a case of exostosis of the external auditory canal or surfer's ear. Uh, this is a protective osseous proliferation of the bone of the EAC. Usually it's from a constant noxious stimulus, most commonly cold or windy conditions. You'll often see this with surfing, swimming, kite surfing, uh, sailing, like that sort of thing. Uh, here you see the images from the right temporal bone. What you have is where the EAC should be. You have a proliferation of bone there. Here you can see a little wisp of the tympanic membrane but this is markedly narrow from what is normal. On the sagittal images, what you see is the same thing. The EAC has been narrowed uh, in the AP dimension here. You have a lot of bone along that external auditory canal. When you look at the left side, you see the same finding. So massive proliferation of bone here, very little in terms of the external auditory canal here. You have a little wisp of the tympanic membrane, which is displaced a little bit, but a marked proliferation of bone there. Again, here on the sagittals, you see the same finding. For the question, what's the patient's most likely pastime? That's going to be a triathlete. So probably it's someone who's uh, swimming in cold water, maybe training in a lake or the sea or an unheated pool. Uh, you could also, I gave you that as a choice because surfer's ear is a little bit too obvious for this one. Here you see uh, some 3D projections of the same, the same study here. So that's just kind of showing you what it might look like if you were taking a look at it from the outside. Uh, here you have it compared to, this is a photo I took from Antelope Canyon in Arizona. So you can see that it looks, looks very similar. You have these rocky crags with a very narrow, uh, very narrow path there.